Hey guys, welcome to Griffo Media. I'm Griffo. Today it's the arcade legend from Sega and it's R tuned. And everybody loves this game, don't they? It's just an absolute, an absolute masterpiece. <laughs> Turn that down slightly. It's such a pretty game to play, and uh, the, the amount of stuff that you can spec on this game is just awesome. So we're just going to hop in and try out a few levels just for the purposes of the video. A lot of people saying I should do this game on the channel, and so why not? Let's uh, hop into that, the Impreza. We'll go with the regular blue color, I reckon, with the neons. And courses, let's start in New, New York and then we'll work our way through. New York being the easiest course of the lot. And uh, time attack or battle, let's go battle. Force feedback is set aggressive. Got the super boost, of course, both sides here. Uh, so that can give us some nice drifting action. Our tuned, what an absolute modern classic this is. And a lot of people saying, go on, try our tuned, you'll love it. Well, I've played it before. There is another video, my sit down unit on the channel. Let's race. Obviously, you can have the car in front, or you can hop in just like that, which is how I tend to race this one, to be honest with you. I like to be in the car in this game because I think the perspective view is really good. So anyway, you can see you can, you can boost. And you can drift. And the good thing about this game is you just get a little drift by taking your foot off the accelerator. Yeah, it's a very graphically pretty game is our tuned. And you use the boost to kind of guide your drift, if that makes sense. Catch my drift. Okay, we're up into uh, second place as we go. Yeah, it kind of gives you a little bit of guide on your drift as he drifts all over the place. Anyway, we're down into third here. I wouldn't use too much boost up, so we're going to absolutely nail it now. We're on lap three. All the AI cars look identical, don't they? There's <laughs> a small little price to pay, isn't it, for such a good game? But I would have mixed up the way the AI cars look, to be honest with you. All green. What's all that about? Couple laps to go. <laughs> Never seen so many green cars. Do you know what though? Here's one. My next car, I think I'm gonna pick a green car. <laughs> Which might uh, raise a few eyebrows probably on the school run. <laughs> green car, never had a green car. Intrigued. I usually choose blue. Anybody who knows me who's watching this video will be like, oh yeah. Blue car, black wheels. It's my usual go-to. Anyway, obviously it was the New York course which was the easy one, so we were obviously always gonna finish first on that. Really good fun game to play this at the arcade, especially when you've got six machines lined up and you're playing your mates, that is where the best fun comes in on this. And I think that's what uh, a lot of people love about this game. To be honest with you, I'm not gonna keep on putting my name in. I'll just put Sega. Oh, this name can't be used. So what can be used? Backspace, what about that? I'll do Sega X, continue, I'll absolutely continue. Right, we'll select a different car now because that's the nature of the beast, I guess. Um, should we change up from a Subaru? We'll go a, yeah, Mazda, shall we? 
Yeah, let's choose up. Actually, that looks quite cool. We'll go for the, um, the Type R. Color-wise, not too fussed, to be honest with you. I mean, this is just neons, by the way, under the car. We're quite good with a... Yeah, let's go for that, shall we? Yellow neon underneath. Of course, we'll mix it up now. I could go New York B, but uh, I want to choose a different place now, so we'll go for Shinjuku. And we'll do a battle again. We'll do a few courses anyway. So what are your memories of this game? Obviously it's been kicking around now the best part of 20 plus years. Still looks amazing, still plays great. Force feedback here on the Fanatec CSL Elite. And by the way, if you're a new subscriber or a new watcher to the channel, I always appreciate uh, comments and likes and stuff, so thanks for that. And if you've got any games you'd like to see played on my machine, then just get in touch. So there's the car in front. Looks great, doesn't it? I'm gonna hop into the car as I've got the steering wheel here. So games like that on a controller, absolutely get that, but another load of green cars. That's a bit lazy from Sega, I think, to be honest. It absolutely is lazy, isn't it? I suppose it helps you pick out who you're racing against, because it could be anyone, I guess. But what they should have just done is put, like, big number four or number three or number two or number one over your head, you know? Gotta be said though, Sega are of the absolute geniuses when it comes to racing games in the arcades, aren't they? They just make some of the greatest ever. Them green cars are get, getting in my way. Didn't use my boost very well there. Look, I'm still in the still in the drift. we go another level tell me in the arcade now I don't remember playing this too often in the arcade was the booster limited or was it built up via drifting because at the moment uh, there seems to be quite a bit just gonna put the zeros in and done and continue and we'll change up the car again select car what should we go for this time guys skylines a nice car isn't it Let's go for that, shall we? Choose a few varieties of cars. What's gonna look nice under the skyline? I think yellow, that looks good. Maybe a green. Yeah, that looks good too. Let's go for a green this time. And match all the other cars on the course. So obviously they're all the same. And we'll switch it up right here. There is quite a few courses for an arcade game in fairness. Not quite on the levels of Need for Speed because that is on a different level completely. Need for Speed Drift. Oh my goodness, the course is on that. There is a previous video on my upright driving machine. I think there must be about 14, 15, 16 courses. And we played the lot, and that was a fun video. Did last an hour though. <laughs> it was a good hour. I do tell um, everybody that this is uh, a job. <laughs> Pull the other one, Griffo. So there you go, I always like to have a look at the car before we set off in the, in the view that we want. Try and catch up with the pack now. Let's 
So the game absolutely running, uh, 60 frames a second, full HD. few people asking me as well in the um, in the comments would I mind ever considering building arcade machines like this um, I think time is a thing um, really uh, but I think for the right project absolutely I do have the knowledge and know-how so um, this here is my upright machine not my sit down and uh, it didn't take that long to build actually, but to get around to tweak the little bits like the neon lights and stuff took a while. Uh, that's probably one of the biggest questions. What, neon lights, where'd you get them from? Actually, it's a company and everything you see is paid for by me. There's no freebies on this channel. And of course, if you want me to review anything, I'll always consider that. But uh, the arcade machine built by me, the neon lights actually by a company called Govi. You know who Govi are, they're kind of leading the way with all that stuff. The neon lights, LED light strips and stuff, they, they have done for a while. They have a lot of their products around the home. And uh, so I've never had a freebie from Govi. So Govi, if you're watching, then uh, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> but yeah, I could make an arcade machine if you so wish. So, you know, drop, drop me a comment and um, we'll hook up that way. Um, probably gonna be a UK thing to begin with. And so all my machines, or say all my machines, I've only got two, uh, but uh, they run on uh, not only consoles and all of the consoles, but on PCs and actual gaming boards as well, you know, so that's all doable. So serious drifting going on here and lots and lots of green cars still. I guess this is a question. I've got a forthcoming video coming up that I'm going to film on the build-up to um, Christmas. This is 2024 while I'm doing this. And I'm on the scout out for the best arcade racers. Now, I've got an idea of what the top 10 should be, but what I'm going to do is create a, a top 10 video. Uh, that is going to be in a future video. If you're watching this and it's gone Christmas 2024, you're probably too late. So uh, in the comments below, I'd love you to tell me what your favorite is and we'll compile a top 10 and uh, we'll play them all back to back on a, on a long play video. And we'll compare and uh, we'll, we'll rate the games. Uh, rating the games is kind of a new thing really. I only kind of started doing that recently. And uh, the last game I played on the channel was Chase HQ2. And I gave that quite a good score actually because I found it really good fun to play. And I gave that an eight out of 10. Um, and I'll give this one a score at the end actually. Right, we'll choose a different course. Uh, we'll enter the same ranking name just to get quickly through the, uh, the old menu systems here. Change up the car. Should we choose a Ford this time? Ford Mustang GT or a Corvette? That's uh, obviously not a Ford, is it? The Mustang is. Let's go for that. So body color, we can choose the body color, but uh, we'll go neon color here. But quite nice, a yellow, nice little contrast, red and yellow. And uh, we'll mix up the courses here. We'll go Hong Kong this time. Right, here we go, Hong Kong, which is the final area, really. Go 
Okay. These green cars are becoming the bane of my life, guys. I can get past him then. Take the high road, right? Oh, it's another green car. <laughs> get off my tail. I don't think so. Whoa. He's all over the shop. Doesn't seem to be any traffic on the high road, does there? Whoa, wasn't expected to get shunted out there. Biggest drift I've ever done in my life. <laughs> it's just so narrow to get down. I'm going to take the low road this time. Never green cars done my head in so much. Drifting for fun here. Still on my tail, I'm going to take the high road. Lack of traffic up here. So there we go, it's our tune guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Always appreciate a like and a share on the channel. Subscription's always nice as well, so thanks for uh, checking out the video today. Uh, just in the comments below, if you've got a video that you'd like me to make of your favorite arcade machine, that is dead simple. All you gotta do is leave me a message in the comments and we'll do it right here on Griffo Media. Thanks for watching, guys. Griffo